Hello again, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM, where the lineup tonight includes a slate of movies from an actor who went from a football player at Southern Cal to a prop boy working on the Fox lot to a bit player in movies to becoming perhaps the greatest motion picture star of all time. If he's not number one, he's certainly in the conversation. We have John Wayne films tonight. Hold on, I got to get into character. Three of them, I tell you. All of them made in the back half of a career where he wasn't the box office draw he'd been. But I tell you, he still managed to command the screen better than half the young fellas out there do today. <laughs> that was terrible. But at least it was long. <laughs> Up first, from 1959, directed by John Ford, also starring William Holden, The Horse Soldiers. In its review, Variety summed up why the picture worked pretty effectively. Give John Ford a company of brawny men, let him train his cameras on the U.S. Cavalry, provide a script with plenty of action, and he's off on the road to glory. In The Horse Soldiers, all these elements are present. The Horse Soldiers is based on the true story of a Union cavalry unit sent deep behind Confederate lines in 1863. Wayne stars as the Union colonel who leads the cavalry column. Holden plays the conscientious military doctor, a surgeon assigned to accompany the troops. A Southern belle living on a plantation, played by Constance Towers, will proceed to complicate the military mission. The careers of Ford and Wayne are forever intertwined. Their professional relationship dates back to 1927 when Wayne started appearing in bit parts in Ford's silent films. In all, Wayne and Ford made 20 movies together. From 1959, also with tennis legend Althea Gibson, the first African-American to win the French Open, the U.S. Open, and Wimbledon. More on Gibson after the movie. This is The Horse Soldiers. In The Horse Soldiers, tennis champion Althea Gibson played the servant to the Southern Belle. Gibson was the daughter of a South Carolina sharecropper. Her family migrated to Harlem when she was just three. There, while in school, she fell in love with sports and with music. In 1950, Althea Gibson became the first African-American to break the color barrier in professional tennis. She played and won the French Open in 1956, then won Wimbledon and the U.S. Open in 57 and 58, all firsts for a black athlete. In 1959, the year the Horse Soldiers premiered, Gibson released a jazz album called Althea Gibson Sings. She also sang on The Ed Sullivan Show. For three months, John Ford shot the horse soldiers on location in Louisiana, which was segregated, meaning Gibson would have been denied the right to stay in the same hotels as the white actors. So her scenes were shot in Hollywood. And notably, Gibson refused to speak in a dialect typical of slave characters in 30 years of sound movies to that point. John Ford, famously tough on his actors, allowed the script to be altered to suit Gibson. Up next... More action with John Wayne as the Duke plays a Texas Ranger in the Comancheros.